Hi there, welcome to my video on how you can use Thinkific Site Builder theme to uh, build out your business online. So as you know, Thinkific is great for hosting your courses, hosting digital downloads, or even uh, as a membership vault or membership site. However, I've, a lot of people may not know that if you're starting out early on and you're trying to really build out your site and build out the functionality, you can really use Thinkific to function as its entire website. So right now, here's my demo site. And as you can see, the landing page has my little logo, um, the sign in, um, you can see a little bit about, you know, I haven't really built this out too much. But as you can see, I've tried to add a little bit here and there and just um, played around with what I think looks really good. But I want to emphasize that if you're really interested in like, you know, if you're a coach, you're a consultant, and you are thinking about building courses, and you also want to uh, manage uh, bookings for your one-on-one -on -one clients, you can do that in Thinkific. And the way to do that is, uh, their choice is you can um, use the header, which is this section up here. You can also um, then build it out further um, at the end in the footer. However, I recommend doing it in the header because it's at the top of the page and it's very visible and very clear for people to see. So how would I build this out in the header so that people could sign up for one-on-one -on -one consults or sign up for like coaching sessions? Um, those are all great ways that you can use um, the header uh, to modify and add a button so that people can uh, sign up with a calendar link. So the best way I would do that is adding a link. So now uh, I've added a second link and the text will be uh, book your uh, uh, book your appointments with me here. Okay, so if you're on this page and you like to build out the site builder theme so that you can add a link to like a LinkedIn profile, a calendar booking link, uh, this is what you would do. So uh, let's just say that the frequently asked questions, if you're linking it to a WordPress site, um, you could do this uh, one way, which is to call us FAQs. And then in FAQs, you could put custom URL and then just say HTTP, um, I spell HTTP, uh, worldwideweb.genepack.com if that was my URL. And just enter the URL here and then click save. And then if I were to click on FAQs, then as you can see on the bottom, it's taking me directly to the domain. And so the point is that <clears throat> this is a great way to sort of use Thinkific as um, connected to your main WordPress site or Squarespace site um, that you can continue to add more pages. Uh, I've only added one page here, but if I would like to add more pages, I can just go back uh, to the header and add another link and name this um, calendar link calendar booking link and then look for the custom URL and just click calendly.com and enter the direct URL copy and paste it into here and then uh, click save and now I can see that people coming onto my site can uh, learn more about me in the FAQs they can sign up to book a one-on-one -on -one consult with me here. And if I have other information that I think is relevant and useful for them, I can also add it into the bottom at the footer um, here. And I can make another video to show you how to add more links to the footer. And ultimately, also don't forget the social media sites that are really important. And you can feel free to change these icons um, by looking on the web for the Facebook icon and the Instagram icon and replacing those on the site so that people know directly that this is Facebook and this is Instagram. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for my next video on how to edit and add pages to your footer on your site builder theme. Thanks again.